Russia has turned the tide in the Libyan war and a shameful defeat awaits Erdogan. The Libyan war, which was getting dominated by Turkey till now, is witnessing a turning point. Moscow is turning the tide on Turkey with two latest developments. The purported deployment of an advanced air defense system touted to be either the S-300 or even the most sophisticated S-400 Triumph and the seizure of a key oil field in Libya which bolsters the Khalifa Haftar-led Libyan National Army's battle with the Turkey-backed Muslim Brotherhood government. Turkey, which has violated the international arms embargo to aid the Muslim Brotherhood government in Tripoli, had made some deep inroads against the rival Libyan National Army led by General Khalifa Haftar, which has the backing of the UAE, Saudi Arabia, Egypt and Russia, with France and Italy so far being in the shadows. While Turkey, with its jihadi mercenaries, was leading the show until now, Russia is poised to seriously impair Turkish advances. Firstly, the capture of the Al Sharara oil field by Russian mercenary groups has made the Russia backed LNA far more powerful within the war torn country of Libya. The Muslim Brotherhood government, which is also called the Government of National Accord, relies upon oil exports for its finances. But with Russian mercenary groups entering the oil field, the primary source of the UN recognized government's revenue has dried up. The renegade military commander, Haftar is now empowered to block Libyan oil exports which will further hurt the cash-strapped Islamist government. A more serious event is the probable entry of an advanced Russian air defense system. Images have surfaced that suggest deployment of advanced Russian-built high-altitude air defense systems in eastern Libya. According to Forbes, the images show what experts call a Russian S-300 or S-400 air defense system near the oil port of Ras Lenov on the Libyan coast east of the strategically located city Sirte. The war zone's Thomas Nudik says that the purported deployment of the Russian air defense system has followed the landing of a Russian AN-124 strategic airlifter at Libya's Al Khadim airbase. He added, IL-76 transports operated both by the Russian military and big contractors that have been making regular runs to Libya aren't big enough to handle the larger components of either the S-300 or S-400. The alleged deployment of the Russian air defense systems should have left Turkey worried. Till now, the Turkish-backed Muslim Brotherhood forces were advancing eastwards and shutting the LNA out from important locations. The Turkish mercenaries were dominating the Libyan battlefield until now due to the backing of Turkish drones. Last year, the Government of National Accord or GNA in Tripoli was able to capture the LNA-controlled West Libyan airbase Al Wathia only due to dozens of Turkish drone strikes that even destroyed the Russian Panzer S-1 air defense missile systems deployed at the airbase. Next on Turkey's list are Sirte and Al Jafra region. Ankara and the Muslim Brotherhood government have repeatedly demanded the LNA to withdraw from these two regions before the negotiations for a ceasefire are considered. Egypt believes that any Turkish offensive in Sirte and Al Jafra will cross the dangerous red line and Russia is bound to share this view. However, any substantive Turkish air support to the Muslim Brotherhood forces stands ruled out. Any Turkish or Muslim Brotherhood military action in Sirte and Al Jafra might face a stiff challenge from the S-300 or S-400, both of which are capable air defense systems that can easily interject Turkey's Bayraktash TB2s. As such, Putin seems to have halted Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan's onslaught against the LNA. The Russian president is once again playing the role of a strongman who shows Erdogan the mirror every time he starts bullying other players in the region. Russia had recently given Turkey a bloody nose in Syria and now Moscow might once again humiliate Ankara in Libya.